Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be discussing a couple things. Number one, the new version of Hackchi that was just released, version 2.21c. Number two, we're going to be talking about how you can add custom bezels to your Super Nintendo Classic Edition. So first off, real quick, let's go through version 2.21c. This is just released 20 hours ago from this recording. It says it's a minor update, nothing special, which I think that's kind of uh, downplaying it because there is actually something really special about this in my opinion. But let's just go through this real quick. Altered free space calculation, minor fixes for mods, so the extra space mod is more safe now. The Turbo AB hack working correctly now. So, you know, I don't use the Turbo, you know, controller hack, but for those of you that do, boom, it is now working. So we appreciate that. This is the big one in my opinion. Scripts auto update. So you don't need to reflash your custom kernel after every update. I've had so many people hit me up about this. Like, man, when I download the new version, I have to restart everything and, you know, it, it sucks. What do I do? Now, you don't have to worry about that. From this version and going forward, the scripts auto update so you do not need to reflash and you don't have to start over or have anything weird going on. So that is a major improvement in my opinion. Not a minor update, that's a major update in my eyes. And I really do appreciate that from Cluster M releasing this version of Hackchi. So definitely pretty cool. So going forward, he also has added updated translations. So he added Portuguese for those of you in Brazil who speak and read Portuguese. So boom, there you go. That is appreciated. The force NTSC patching for SNES games has been removed. And then there's some tiny fixes that probably were not worth mentioning here. So pretty cool stuff. So if you want to download this version of Hackchi, a link will be in the description. Definitely worth getting. But what we're really here for is to learn how to install custom bezels for the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. Now, you will need Hackchi to do this, but it's not going to be the only thing you need. Now, it's not going to matter if you have this version or the previous two versions of Hackchi that work for the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. Just as long as you have Hackchi, that is going to be a big part of this. The other part of it is you are going to need an FTP client. For this, I am using FileZilla, which it's the only one that has worked for me properly in order to do this. So I highly recommend if you don't have any success with a different FTP client, use FileZilla. I've never used FileZilla before, but after doing this bezel installation process, Fire, FileZilla worked great for me. So I am recommending that. So let's go ahead and begin on what we need to do to get these custom bezels installed. Okay, so on our PC, what we are gonna wanna do is open up Hackchi. I'm using Hackchi 2.21b, but it doesn't matter if you use C or the first version that was made to work with the Super Nintendo Classic, just as long as it's already set up and you have your custom kernel flashed. So we will go ahead and open that up and I already have mine open. What you need to do, Make sure you have your Super Nintendo Classic plugged in and powered on. Now, if it's powered on, the light needs to be on. If the light is not on, then it's not set. It'll be green down here saying, hey, everything's cool. We are connected to your Super Nintendo. So just make sure all that is in place to go further into the steps. So first thing we are going to want to do is go to Tools and make sure FTP Server this line right here has a check mark next to it. Now you can go ahead and open FTP client through here and it should prompt you to select which program or just go ahead and navigate to whatever FTP client you are going to be using. So let's go ahead and open up. I'm using FileZilla. So what we need to do in our host is type in 127.0.0.1 Username is going to be root. Password is Clover. And then you do need to make sure your port is set to 1021. And then just go ahead and connect. Now, if it does not connect or it gives you an error, make sure, like I said, that your little green light is on down here. 
and that the red light on your Super Nintendo is on showing that it has been connected. And like I said, you're going to want to make sure you have already flashed the custom kernel. So if you've gone through the process of adding games, that is already done. But I always want to say to make sure that you keep your original kernel. That way, if you want to go back to the original state or if something crazy happens, you can go ahead and back that up. So just make sure, you know, initial hack chi usage will dump the original kernel. Make sure you make a copy of that, you know, just to keep it in a safe place, just in case you never know. But for now, we are done with hack chi, but leave it open, but just minimize. So from here, there's going to be a couple things we need to do. So you will need to download a file. And that file is going to be this one. It's p 8173 underscore own BGS. I will put a link in the description for this, this Google Drive file. Make sure you download that and know where you have kept it. So the next step is back on our FTP client. What we are gonna wanna do is copy the original background folder. So where that background folder is gonna be is down here on this side. This is the Super Nintendo Classic. This is gonna be all of our directories, folders, and files. On this side will be your PC. So on the Super Nintendo side, what you are gonna to wanna to do is go to user, open that up, and then go to share. And then from here, you will have a folder for backgrounds. And if you go in there, you will see it has all of our backgrounds, the original ones. I've already flashed some new ones, but you will want to go ahead and make sure you take this file, drag it over to your PC. Now I've already done that, so I'm gonna skip that part, but you catch my drift here. Copy that to your PC, put it on your desktop or wherever it's easily accessible. And then you're gonna to wanna to go back up and go down. This is gonna be the, the beginning that it should open when you're first on the Nintendo Classic here. And then go to VAR, lib, hackchi, root fs. And then from there, you're gonna to wanna to go to user and then share. Now in this folder or this directory, you will not have this. You will not have the backgrounds folder. I already have it because I've gone through these steps. So what you will do is, is find it on your desktop or wherever you have stored the original file, drag that over and bring it to this directory. And then from there, that P8173 file that you downloaded, you can do this in the beginning if you choose. It doesn't really matter, but as long as you get it in here, on the beginning, you need to go to ETC, and then down here, it's preinit.d. You're gonna to wanna to drop it in here. And there it is right there. I've already dragged it in here, so I have it on my desktop. Where'd she go? Right here, p8173 underscore own BGS. We would just drag that over. And I've already done it. I'll just go ahead and overwrite. Doesn't really matter. And now from there, we are done with that piece of it. So you can keep FileZilla or whatever FTP client you have open, but what you will need to do is I recommend closing out HackChi, turning off your Super Nintendo, and then reopening HackChi, turning your Super Nintendo back on. So in order to install our custom bezels, you're gonna to wanna to download some or make your own. Now I will give you a link to these as well, which are the ones that I have used. I've used most of these, not all of them, but you can download all of these from this Google Drive link that I will provide to you. Go ahead and download them. They will be all zipped. So what you will wanna do from there is since they are zipped, I have them in a folder that I put in. So SNES mini borders, 
unzip everything, these will all be zipped, but you cannot, they will not work on the Super Nintendo zipped, so you will need to unzip them. So essentially, they're all going to be zip files with these names, 12, 13, underscore, you know, whatever the, the naming is. So what you're going to want to do is keep that naming. So what you could also do is, is copy over, if you want to make your own, what you could do is copy any of the backgrounds that are already on your system. Such as the original 11, I believe we have. So you see how they are all named. And then once you open them, you have some files. So what you could do is take an original folder, copy it to your desktop, open it up, take a look at everything, and then just rename to, you know, the next in the sequence. So it would be like 12, if you don't use the ones that I'm giving you the link to, 12 underscore and whatever you name it as. So what we could do here is let me find the original bezel that I copied over. So you see, this is an original bezel. This one is the ambient one. So this one we might not want to use. You'd probably want to use a static one. But the way it's going to be listed is, is you are going to have the 4x3 version. You're going to have the preview, the pixel perfect preview, and you will have the pixel perfect version. So you can open these if, you know, this is not going to be an art program tutorial because I'm not very good at that anyway. But you can open these and use them as templates, as a layer, and create your own bezels. And that's just one thing you can do and just change the naming to where everything is uniform to, to the way these are already named. So once you have these, if you download the ones that I'm linking to, which are here, the 12 to 27, plus a few extras that you can either renumber or leave the same. I have not used those yet. But these right here, all you would do is in this background folder that you are going to be accessing through the Hackchi menu, which, like I said in the beginning, it's going to be VAR, lib, Hackchi, rootfs, user, share, and then backgrounds. So that's where you copied the original to. So you're going to go to this one. And then from here, wherever you have those bezels, like I said, I have them in this folder. You will just take them, drag them, and drop them over here. So once that is done, you're pretty much set. So let's go ahead and take a look at how these are on the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. Okay, guys, so now we're on our Super Nintendo Classic Edition. So if everything went as planned, and I hope it did for you guys, your bezels will be up here in displays. So you go down, and everything you added, as long as they are numbered in sequence, will follow right after the original bezels. And like I said, you can also do your own custom creations if you take an original bezel. The, the version that I had showed was not a good example. You'd probably want to use one that is static, that doesn't change colors. That way you have an easier time using everything as a template. Just make sure everything in that folder, you change the name to whatever you want to call your new bezel. And then just make sure everything is uniform to the way it originally looked. So the numbering, the underscores, all that stuff, just to make sure you run into no issues if you want to do your own custom ones. So this stuff is pretty cool. Really brings a unique look to these games, especially if you're gonna have bezels that are made specifically for a game, you know, like Secret of Mana, Contra, um, shoot, you got Final Fantasy, Kirby, Star Fox. You know, the, the, the possibilities are endless here, and I think it's pretty awesome. This one looks pretty cool, the Castlevania one. Let's check that bad boy out. Oh yeah, Super Castlevania, duh. Let's go ahead and open that up. So the original guide to do this is courtesy of Robin64 on NeoGAF. So I'll go ahead and put a link to that user in the description. That user also is the one that I got these um, bezels from, but there's quite a few other people who have put out bezel packs 
which are pretty cool, but I really like the ones that Robin64 put out. So those are the ones I'm, I'm using. I might do some custom ones for a few more of these games, and if I do, I'll share that with you guys. I'm not a big graphic artist guy, you know, like Phil's Doodles out there. But hey, if you use the, the original background bezel folder, and you make a backup of it, and you use that as a template, it should be pretty easy to find images that you want to use for this, just as long as, like I said, the naming is correct and everything is set, and then you just transfer that over to that Hackchi backgrounds folder, and you should be good. So any of the images you're going to you're gonna want to use 1280 by 720 resolution for them to be, you know, compatible with the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. But if you open up an original bezel that's included and you go into your art program and you look at the resolution, you'll see what it originally was because they do have the previews and the thumbnails and those should be a different size. So you'll want to make sure whatever your new image that you're going to use is the same size. So use those as a guide for making your own. But like I said, pretty awesome that we can do this. I think it makes everything pretty unique. Regardless if you want to hack and add new games or not, if you just want to keep the original 21 on here, at least, hey, you can still mix it up and get some cool-looking bezels thrown onto your system. That's a definite plus. So if you guys have any questions, throw them out there. I'll try to help you the best I can. Sorry this video went on for so long. I'm sure I'll have comments saying, hey, you could have shared this information in like a minute and a half. But that's typically not the way I do things. I try to be as thorough as possible. So I hope you guys at least appreciate that. If you need any help, I'll try the best that I can. If you, know, if you want to take a look at the original post that explains how to do this and explains how to do a lot of other things, the link will be in the description for that NeoGAF po posting. So take a peep at that. And like I said, big thanks to the original poster, which is Robin64. Really awesome stuff. So with that said, guys, appreciate you stopping in, checking out my video. Smash that like button if you could. It mean the world to me, you know what I mean? Subscribe if you have not done so already. And I will catch you guys next time. Boom! <laughs>